What's up guys, it's Minx. This is going to be a quicker video. I didn't want to, uh, uh, I, we're not going to code all this out together. Um, I'm going to leave, I'm going to make the code available, but we're not going to do it together. And that's because it's really redundant, really repetitive. And unfortunately, uh, the only other ways to do this are like really awful. So what have I done here? Um, one of my biggest issues with the previous version of Game Master was not having the ability to spawn all enemies on all maps. So I fixed it and I figured it out and it's ugly. So the way it works is we come in here. We find, so the game has a, all of the AIs like existing or whatever, sort of in the memory somewhere and we find them. Um, they're not spawned or anything, so I don't do anything with them. We don't, I uh, can't use it or anything uh, per se, but we can get a reference to that class. And once we have a reference to it, which I've done here for each one, um, we create a spawnable enemy with rarity. And then once we get that, if it was able to grab this, it will set it and it will add it. I guess I could probably also want to add a. Uh, um, could probably just go all the way to the bottom and just say, uh, you know, if these are not null, add them or whatever. But for now, this is fine. So it adds all of them to a return list. And I have it just separated right now by inside and outdoor enemies. Uh, there's like daytime enemies don't really matter for that so much. Um, so it's really simple. It does this. I tried every way I could think of to make this a loop where we just loop through a list of these types and do it for each type. However, when you have a type, you can't use a variable that references a type, uh, you know, a type of variable or whatever um, to declare a variable. So I can't like say, um, let's say, Let's say var a, for example, equals type of jester AI. So now a, I could say type a to make that a little clear. So a is now a variable that is a type of jester AI. It is a type. So I could not now go in and say a jester ref equals null. We can see here a is uh, a variable, but not use like a type. Now we could also say a dot get type, and it would do the same thing. We can't do that. There's no way to pass it through. I originally tried to pass it through like a uh, um, like a parameter in the method, and it just it doesn't work. The other option is reflection, um, but for the purposes of this, it would have been it would have been slower to actually use reflection than what we've done. So. I'm going to make this code available. Um, oh, well, I guess we could skip one more ahead here. The next thing was dynamic. So dynamic, uh, similar to like Python, where types and uh, different things are uh, resolved at runtime. Actually, if we make like a dynamic here, dynamic A, if we hover over dynamic here, represents an object whose operations will be resolved at runtime. So all that means is it doesn't know what it is, and that's okay. It will be turned into something as we operate on it. So uh, the problem with that is, if we take a look here, this is where I attempted to do this. So I had an enemy type list, which is just a type of these. Um, and it would go in and it would search. The search is fine because the type of reference creates a, uh, uh, you can use the variable type of to look at things like this. So that's okay. Um, however, defining a variable, uh, so take, hey, we have a dynamic current enemy type. That's like, okay, we don't know what type of object it's going to be, so we make it dynamic. The problem is ABC is, uh, what do you say? Uh, it's an object, it's unityengine.object. It's not a uh, jester, dress, sand, crawl, blob. It's not one of those. So we, when we have current enemy type, we would have it as a dynamic object and it would be a unity engine dot object. That's what it would essentially turn into. The next thing we could do potentially is maybe try to cast it to all of these. It's like, Hey, try cast this, try cast that, try cast that. If cast succeeds, uh, do it. Um, I don't, I mean, I guess that could have worked. I'm not really sure. 
Uh, I didn't really get into it. I failed to cast tears. Like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to write it out because it's, I, I knew how to do it. I fixed it. I figured it out. So it was just a matter of looping it or doing it all at once. So I'm going to make this code available online, uh, probably on a GitHub repo or something by the time this video goes out. And uh, this fixes it. I did some testing to see and enemies still spawn because I thought it, they might not because saying, you know, just respawnable is a spawnable enemy with rarity. So saying just respawnable dot rarity. Where does that come from? Uh, did we define it? It's a new spawnable. So what is it? Uh, but enemies still seem to spawn. So I'm not going to complain about it. I think the game sets it or something like that. Um, in the logic. I'll have to see. We may have to come back to it. Um, technically, this shouldn't be used unless the uh, person is trying to, uh, um, like, allow all spawning so technically by default this shouldn't do anything we should be turning this off or not you know not calling this so um all in all that's that for today's video um in the next video we'll actually do some stuff i know i promised that in the last video uh but this is something that i wanted to clear up because it has been bugging me for months now um so a uh, little bit of extra stuff here because we are going to be using this anyway um, is we have a round manager patch now so we've got round manager um, and what we're patching is round manager dot load new level and then on plugins uh, we are patching the round manager patch in so that way it can be used so uh, go ahead and get that set up you can copy and paste these in I'm not sure if these are gonna stay here and I'm not sure if I want to call this every single time because once we get the list created we could sign this to like a variable in plugin I don't know if I want to put it in plugin to be honest um, we could probably maybe put it in I'm not even sure where I'd put it. Maybe I, I don't want to put it in the configuration controller. Um, I could do like a, I don't want to have another object to interact with here. I'll probably just put it in plugin or cause we got to store the variable somewhere. I guess we could store them in plugin. So we have a menu that we can access through the instance. These do, we do want these to be instance variables. So let me do, hashtag region here we'll do a little bit of code hashtag end region i didn't give it a name so region instance vars so for our instance vars um and actually harmony is technically an instance var but it's private so it doesn't matter um we put those there and right below it we could say internal list of spawnable enemy with rarity um, indoor enemy list outdoor enemy list and what we could do is maybe create like a uh, uh, store we'll say stores all references all enemy references uh, enemy AI references and then maybe we could create a second uh, or maybe a yeah a what do you call it uh, yeah a second copy of each of these and have it for like let's say hey I don't want this enemy to ever spawn anymore just disable this particular enemy and it just removes it from that list and we just use that so maybe um, what else we could do here is say I probably want to do this we're gonna say internal bool uh, Uh, let's say ch -ch -ch, uh, set up um, enemy spawns fixed was false. We always want that to be false by default. And then what we do is indoor we go round manager. Now we're probably not going to, um, this is probably going to look different, but for example, here we're going to say. If and I'm gonna say tutorial mod base because that's mine. Dot instance is we're not looking for a null check here. Um, dot instance. Dot enemy spawns fix. Um, I'm gonna change that a little bit. We're gonna say fixed. So if this is not true.
then instance are uh, not dot ins actually yeah dot instance dot indoor enemy list equals where is it fix indoor enemy spawns and then fix outdoor enemy spawns. So then we have it stored and cached. That way we don't have to call this every single time. So this could be uh, to do. Well, this doesn't actually, aside from actually uh, adding a list, this doesn't do anything. So this is fine. Don't need to check if setting enabled because this won't impact the game alone. This alone will impact the game. In the future, then we could say, like, if uh, allow all enemies is true, then we do, then we say um, instance.endorenemy list, for example, and oh, we do outdoor here. And then this one for this one, for example. Um, so if allow all enemies is true, uh, then we would set that and that would be good. And we may actually be able to completely remove this. And one other thing, I was actually thinking about this earlier. I want to add it to my list here. Um, is go into here to our list of things. Um, ability to kill slash destroy enemies so obviously we can kill an enemy with a shovel or whatever um but i was thinking it'd be pretty cool because we could literally just destroy the game object right you have a list of dogs that are spawned um so like we could do like a visual gui list of like oh yeah you have these enemies you can destroy them um so, you know, anyway, that's it for today. I wanted to make this one relatively short. I know it's kind of over 10 minutes, but I wanted to uh, cover everything. So again, this code's going to be available online. Uh, there's also the indoor one, which literally does the same thing for indoor enemies. I don't do anything with daytime enemies because the only, like the baboon hawk is a daytime enemy, I think, but otherwise it's irrelevant and I don't really care enough about that, to be honest, uh, for now. Uh, if we need to, we can fix it, but I can get rid of this because I know that worked. Um, just have the okay cool 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 all right have a wonderful day and see you in the next video